Look good. 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 I was telling the brothers that, you know, at the time where they shall seek to throw some of us in prison, bro, for treating this word. Prime example, bro. That's all they're going to try to do, man. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. No, 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 we're not no, chastised. No, 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 no. Yeah. But you know, it say, bless the man word. that's chastened by the Lord. Yeah. Yeah, that means the Lord loves you. The Lord, Lord loves yeah. you if you do feel that way. That's but right. We're so, not. So, so can I wear tennis shoes with my skirt? So you already know what we're so about can to I say. I wear tennis <laughs> shoes with my skirt? We're going to pull it out. Go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Verse 5. The woman, the, whole, the woman, the subject matter is the woman right now. Go ahead. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. So the woman shall not wear anything that belongs to a man. The reason why we have pants with a zipper is to pull wait, something wait, out. Wait, 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 wait. Women didn't start wearing. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man. Put on a woman's garment. And a man shouldn't wear what belongs to a woman. Go ahead. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. The people who cross dress are despicable, disgusting, filthy to God. That's what the word abominable means. I'm a saint. Sorry? They confuse, yeah. There's a lot of confusion out here right now. So have you found out the truth now that we read that verse? Oh, oh I just want to, I want to wear What is a man's garment? Well, I think, I, I think, know we mean it the well, yeah, I'm not Okay, I got you. I got you. He, he Why do you say he's white then? Y'all, your, your society does. There's no such thing as the Middle East. Where's the Southern East or the Northern East? That's, the, that's another lie that white people do. There's no such thing as the Middle East. I said the truth. That's the truth. It doesn't matter what the Lord is. It doesn't matter. Does the truth matter? Does the truth matter? Well, the Bible says his people are kings and your people are slaves. It doesn't matter. Why can't you just leave him black as he is? So that's the problem when he is portrayed as a black man, then color doesn't matter. But when we've allowed him to be white for centuries, color's all good. Yep. You know, there's no there's no question in that color. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter six, verse ten. And the priest shall put on his linen garment and his linen breeches. Linen breeches. Well, no, 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 no,
So then, I got one. All right. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 14, verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. That's right. You got to keep the commandments. And the faith. And the faith. Salvation comes from? Uh, okay, that's what I thought. You said something? No, I just said something. We're going to pull up salvation. We're going to receive the word from you. What's going on, kings? How y'all doing? I know y'all kings on this earth. You got to keep God's commandments. This is the book of John, chapter 4, verse 22. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Okay, the Jews, right? The Jews. Okay. That's his people. Who are the Jews today? Uh, uh, Not get sent to North, Central, right, South we'll America. So is your father so called African American? Yeah. That's right, bro. Where's your father on it? Your father's your father. father. Your father's father. Father's 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 father. Is it called? chapter 1 verse 18 and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month and they declared their pedigree after their family by the house of their fathers according to the number of their names because the man has the seed What's that? you are what your father is a pedigree if you think of dogs a black wow. Jesus Christ, sister, okay, in Matthew 1, when they talk about Jesus Christ's lineage, do they trace him by his mother or his father? They trace him by his mother, but sure. you're talking about Luke. You're talking about Luke. Matthew is not the same as Luke. Oh, I'm sorry. You're talking about Matthew. I'm Jesus. Yeah, it was, Jesus yeah, traced his father. He was descended on both sides. His, uh, on both sides, it was. They both had tithes. They, they right. did both have tithes. They're both Judah. The Bible, what was... But it, they traced it to his mom because his father had no... Okay. It wasn't... It wasn't... This is the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 1. The book of the generations of Jesus Christ. Can you hear me? Both down, bro. Both Matthew down. 1 and 1. The book of the generations of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob. And Jacob begat Judas and his brothers. And he keep going by the father. So it's the seed of the father. Even on the other one, it even goes down to Joseph. Yeah, all the way to Joseph. So it goes to his biological father. Even on the other one, when we talk about Mary, it goes by the fathers. It don't go by the mothers. So when they started the matrimonial, is it because, uh, who was it? The Jewish people. Right, so the, because they had to separate the Jews from the Muslims. 
Well, because the lady, we, she, she gave her servant to have a child with her. Talk about Hagar. Talk about Ishmael. 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 So the lineage of even so Ishmael started, goes through Abraham. Right. 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 right, right. But the chosen so chosen seed of the promise was who? Jacob. Right, the man, the through, through Isaac. Right, right, right. And then from Isaac, Isaac had Jacob and Esau. Right. Who did it go to after that? Now that I don't know, but I know that the line was from the, the one that God said, this, this is the line of blessing. This yes. is your wife, I'm blessing this. Yes, so he said nothing about the, the Sarah, side. Sarah yeah. and Abraham had Isaac and Ishmael. Yeah. Right. And then the blessing went through Isaac. Right. The blessing that went through Isaac went, went to Jacob. Right. Jacob is the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel. His name was changed to Israel. Right. So the people on the left hand side are the biblical names of the people on the right hand side. Okay. So what we're showing you is the modern day names of the 12 tribes of Israel, oh, really? the chosen people. Okay. So if your father uh, is a so-called American black yeah. Negro, you descend from the tribe of Judah. Right. All right, the word Jew is short for Judah, not Jewish. Right. The people that are in Israel today, they, they call themselves Jewish. Why? Because the word ish means like or around. So if I say, hey, your shirt is, your jacket is reddish, yeah. it doesn't mean it's red. It's, it's uh, kind of red. So they're kind of acting like the Jews, but they're not actually the Jews. The real Jews are black. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you the Bible. I'm going to show you the Bible. But West Belfort? No, no, it's not West Belfort. It's further. Uh, oh, not Brazewood. In the, in the building anymore. Talking about Brazewood. The, the salvation is coming through. These are the Jews. These are the buildings. Why, why did you ask about the synagogue? Well, no, I'm just saying that I don't discount. Uh, people that the people that are are Jewish. Okay. Because to be honest, once y'all get in, you are they know that once you pray on a regular basis, you get certain people. They are blessed. He, he's with them. I don't okay. Know that, so well, he's not with them. He is not I'm with them. <laughs> Straight up. Okay. Revelation, Revelation two and nine. You made a couple points. Go yeah. ahead. Straight up. Um, this is the book of Revelation, yeah. chapter two, verse nine. God is talking to the real Jews. He says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. So he's talking to his people saying, I know you're going through hard times. And I have the, Jew the Jewish people in Israel. Have you ever known them to go through poverty? Do you know any poor Jewish person? I know. Poor Jewish person. But Christ is saying, I know you're poverty, but you're rich, you're spiritually rich. So something doesn't add up. How can they be rich today to Christ? Christ said, these people are poor. Do you think God wants us to be materially rich? When he says when we die and go to heaven, we can't take that with us? Well, I don't know that. I don't think that. But I'm saying that not all people are rich. But my point here is. Because in our other countries. We're in poverty as people, as a, like as a nation of people. Now, I'm not saying every one of us is poor, but as a collective whole, we're in poverty. We have more resources than we have before. Like, 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 like,
Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. They're the high church of Satan. Give me 3 and 9. Now, you said it could be talking about, you know, their um, position in their religion, right? The position of any power. The position of any power. Any power. Now, Christ is going to get a little bit specific about what he means in that previous verse. Go ahead. Revelations 3 and 8. He says, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. But thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Jewish people don't believe in Christ. Right. That's that's yeah. that's, that's true. They, they haven't kept Christ's word. And they don't keep his word. Right. So verse 9. Right. Verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Nine. Verse 9, Behold, I will make. Stop. He said, I will make. This is a future prophecy, right? Go ahead. I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. So now he's saying in the future, this is what I'm going to do to the people who say they are Jews and are not, but they're lying. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. And to know that I have loved it. Not the people who call themselves Jews. Has Christ ever did that yet? Has he come back and say, all you fake Jews need to worship all these people's feet? He hasn't done it yet. That's how we know he's talking about those people in Israel today. Proverbs. It's Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. He says, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. What do you see, Christ? What do you see, God is doing what? What I see, what now? How do you see, Christ? How do you show that you love God? Hey, Shalom, uh -huh. sis, how you doing today? Y'all well, know y'all the real Jews, the Bible's too, sir, man. Has anybody ever told you that? I'm afraid to say that's why we got to keep the commandments, man. Today's a Sabbath day, man. We ain't supposed to be no, doing no buying, selling, or trading, man. We ain't supposed to keep it yeah, holy, meaning set apart. We rock the God. Keeping these law statutes and commandments, man. We got to report this and keep these commandments, man. Be an example to these young sisters, you know what I'm saying? They shouldn't be out here wearing pants, man. Hey, show them. But how do you physically show that you love God? Because you can't... You can't be a gossiper, right? You can't tell lies on people. You can't be a homosexual. You can't. Now you know, and even if you didn't know, now you know. Straight up. 
Bible's right. This is, yeah, we just God. reading his word. Right, go ahead, this John chapter 15, verse 10. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Yeah. Even as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. Huh? That's right. right. Verse 14. Verse 14. Ye are my friends. If ye do whatsoever I command you. That's how we become his friends. 14, 15. This is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, if ye love Christ, do what? Keep my commandments. His commandments. He's saying this over and over and over and over and over. Uh, verse 21. He that has my commandments and keeps them, he it is that loves me. Right. And he that loves me shall be loved of my father. And I will love him and I will manifest myself to him. So that's how he makes himself known to you. Verse 23. If you want him to come into your life, you got to start keeping his commandments. That's his law. Right? Verse 23. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words. And my father will love him and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. We are here for you too, bro. We are here showing our people who we are according to the Bible. If you're not black, Hispanic, Native American, those are names given to us by our person in slavery. That's right. We're actually the children of Israel. The so called black people here in America are the Jews according to the Bible. That's right, bro. Yeah, That's you right, Israelite bro. You are Israelite. That's right. We got to start keeping God's laws that the parents. Let me tell you about these lessons learned and where we're from The most I had to set things straight so we could learn Put the armor of God on you a week, he makes you strong Why do you love bondage instead of the throne? Let me tell you about these lessons learned and where we're from The most I had to set things straight so we could learn Put the armor of God on you a week, he makes you strong